just wanna be with ya Please don't get Never too late Hello people, welcome back to my channel Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne Hola, bienvenue dans Ami Canal Konnichiwa, watashi no chaneru ni yokoso I hope you're doing fine today This is another week, another video Two videos per week, so Better get excited for it I'm coming back stronger and stronger and stronger Here's my microphone I just hope the sound is much better Or sounds much better I hope you're doing fine today I hope you had an amazing weekend This is fall, officially fall And of course I'm getting more inspired <laughs> Today I came with another how to style type of videos And it was for two jackets And I think to me they were just the basics Or the best when it comes to just having out of for fall because it's not cold yet first one is gonna be this one and it's so cute i love this jacket it's a black one and a biker jacket of course the style and it's pretty cropped so it's perfect when you're not that tall it's not, it's not gonna be super long on you i'm not super tall as you know so this one was just a really great deal and it was from zara i think it was around 39 90 and it was on sale the second one that i'm gonna show you and style with you is gonna be little baby here it's a bomber jacket i showed you that at last week actually on how my favorites for fall haven't had any bomber jacket like never ever before so cute and i found so many nice cute way of just styling it i'm gonna tell you all about it right after my lookbook so stay tuned keep on watching it's gonna be fun and i'll see you next bye Whoa! Sunrise, late nights, wishing that this would be over. Cold eyes, the same vice, we won't be getting any closer. We're supposed to be young, dumb, and free. Thought that we never be mean. Hoping that you see what we could be before we throw it all away. And pride's forsaken both of us. Always thought that we would get it right We've been fighting nine to five Always thought that you'd be by my side our mistakes what we have done we're supposed to be young dumb and free thought that we never be mean hoping that you see what we could be before we throw it all away and pride's forsaken both of us always thought that we would get it right my side The ashes falling alone, leaving to its own demise. Ashes to ashes, where do we go? Yeah, where do we go? And pride's forsaken both of us. Always thought that we would get it right. We've been fighting nine to five. Always thought that you'd be by my side.
you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so much fun for me. And of course, it's always fun to be able to style clothing in general when it comes to me. I didn't want it to stay on two jackets because I don't think that you need to have too many jackets, to be honest, when it comes to both. Either like that, because it's not super cold, you can also buy your jacket, you can all coat as well. So my style, I just like to always go a little bit on the top. You know me, it's not you. The second that I style was my black one, two outfits, and I'll get a little bit of the details here. Do videos twice a week, Tuesday and Thursday, every single week, 3 p.m. is the time. So, of course, there's a lot of how to style, a lot of way to dress like multi-purpose your clothing if I could say it like that because I think it's just much more useful for you guys and you don't have to just invest a lot of money just to be stylish free nothing to lose really check out what I did for the first outfit was really to stay in the dark creamy type of like shit this stuff that I recently bought from Zara, it's so cute, it's not super warm, but like I said, you can get away with lighter clothing because it's just the beginning of the fall. Up it for a little skirt that I recently bought at Zara as well, and it was this one! <laughs> TRF collection, I'm trying to stay in lighter shades just because it's not winter yet. This one! <laughs> From Zara, of course. Black one, but I love this little silver touch to it. It's like rockish, edgy. Of course, I'm just jumping into it. So that's what I did here, clearly. $29.90, and I think it was amazing to go with because the biker jacket was black. And I have to balance it out a little bit here. The creamy skirt to me was just the lighter shade and around it it was a little bit of print, a little bit of dark, a little bit of black and my boots were black as well. Add a little bit of pop here, I added something more of some other color and it was my red hat that I showed you last week, swap, of course, I've added it, if you wanted more color, of course you didn't have to do it, it's not mandatory, but it was an option, and everything is dark, creamy, another one with no pins at all, and it's really, really, really pop, balance, although it's really the pop color, have fun with colors, always, you know, I think it's a really nice way to add some trendy, edgy elements to an outfit that actually would have been really simple if it was not for the combination of all of the items. The like a jacket to me was just perfect. The second outfit that I had with this jacket started with my lacy stuff that I got at Zara as well a couple of weeks ago. And it was this one. I think it was sexy. Really sexy because it's really see-through. And I opted for a jean skirt that I bought at Zara as well beginning of the year. But they definitely should have it still because I saw it recently. It was this one. One. Oh, such a great element to the outfit. Adding too much detail to your outfit. And this outfit actually maybe was a little bit more detailed because there was the lace, there was the little ripping parts here, and there was a lot going on. Still, really basic color because it's a blue, and then you have the black. So I think still here you have a balance. What I did, it was just to have something to tidy it up even more in the back so that it's just gonna fit my waist just the perfect waist. With this outfit, I opted for my oven knee boots that I bought at, I don't remember anymore. But I'm gonna put that in the link down below, of course, as always. was this one. I believe and I think they are still cute and they're still not super on the trend because you don't see it as much. But we've had it for so long, really high, I'm just saying. I've been wearing sneakers for so long that I don't remember how to just wear heels anymore. It's okay because I managed to walk with these freaking heels all the way in the street to take the pictures and then to have a video on. So just saying, I'm kind of proud of me here. There's a little bit of pride moment. Six year version with a biker jacket. Any night out, any event during the night would be amazing for that type of outfit. I show you options is for you to choose which one is something that is much more close to your style than anything else. You don't have to like everything but I do like this outfit a lot and I would clearly not wear it during the day. From the jacket now I went with two outfits as well and my first outfit was creamy long knitted dress that I bought at um, 
Zara? Was it Zara? Somewhere around Zara, <laughs> if I remember. Some issues with my bomber jacket because it was a bomber jacket. I'm not a fan of bomber jacket in general, but it was just a challenge for me again here to show how I could style it, even if it's not something that I usually wear in general. I ended up loving it even more. Paired it with my sneakers that you know that I showed you a lot of many times Just amazing and perfect for this outfit because it was all creamy and with my bomber jacket I think the bomber jacket just brought a lot of detail elements and prints to the outfit creamy beige goes with everything and for fall, it's a really good color you want to just have in your wardrobe to just start with because it's not that hard to style and it's not that hard to combine with other colors or other shades or other prints. You have a lot of colors going on. You have a pink, you have a blue, you have the black. So you can go so much with so many things. So it's just up to you to choose which color you want to add to your outfit when it comes to that bomber jacket the style of the bomber jacket it's so sporty it's gonna dress down your outfit so much faster but the combination of chic here because of the prints brings up the outfit to a, some type of like casual yet a really nice touch element to the rest of the outfit i had it with my sunglasses i think again here was another nice and the elements you can add the boots instead of the sneakers you don't have to have the sneakers on for the last outfit i did something that i love to do in general layering it gives you such a great visual appeal because i did with my white turtleneck knitted top to do that last week because it's my favorite as well and now you kind of understand why because you can go a lot of different things with it let's start to layer an outfit because it's white and on the white you can add anything you want pretty much with something thinner and something short sleeves if possible I'm just saying I look at the bomber jacket and I was like how can I have a contrast to have a contrast you need to have opposite colors going on you have a black bomber jacket with prints but then again the black is the dominant color so what do you want to add with the black dominant color white <laughs> especially around the neck added something else before having the bomber jacket hence why i said layering here it was this blue shirt was the blue color because it was some type of shade of blue on the bomber jacket on top of having a black dominant color you have the prints that is interesting to see but doesn't pop your eyes that much and of course as a bottom i had my boyfriend jean that you have right here that i think was another way to just like tidy it up and have something lighter as i said before keep it light keep it bright because it's still full to finish it up for the shoes i had my white boots favorite they will be my favorite for a couple of centuries definitely it was probably really interesting in terms of layering in terms of just showing you how you can pair up some colors some shade and just have nice contrast again so i hope you liked it i hope you adored it i tried to go in more details about it just to show you the steps that i had and that i used to get to this outfit that was pretty much all for today i hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it again of course never don't forget to subscribe i'm always available on my social media twitter snapchat instagram facebook everything is gonna be done below and i give free consultation via skype office time have some questions regarding how you can style a certain type of item let me know we can arrange some type of consultation and we're gonna have a chatty interesting time i'm just saying a couple of services on my website where i have packages regarding like what you're looking for everything is gonna be mainly lookbooks because i think that it's probably what I, I'm really good at, just associate items. Everything is gonna be down below. Everything is gonna be detailed down below as well. So don't hesitate to let me know if you are interested in it, of course. <laughs> and of course, I'm gonna see you guys for the next video on Thursday. And uh, like I say all the time, enjoy your week, enjoy the start of the week and smile because it's free <rire> bye salut les amis j'espère que vous avez adoré la vidéo j'espère que vous avez apprécié la vidéo c'était une autre vidéo sur uh, comment styler et comment associer des pièces et là je me suis vraiment uh, focalisée sur deux 
principales pièces, je pense, sont juste nécessaires ou du moins c'est une petite base pour l'automne. Un perfecto, tout simplement parce que c'est ce que je pense que je mets le plus quand je sors, quand je vais au travail, quand je sors avec mes amis. C'est littéralement ma pièce clé. Je trouve que c'est très facile de le styler, c'est très facile de le mettre avec ce qu'on veut, qu'on le mette avec quelque chose de super classe. Ça devient super léger, c'est super beau quand on le met avec quelque chose de plus rock, c'est encore mieux. Je veux dire, c'est magnifique quoi, je veux dire, euh, et c'est noir, il n'y a pas d'imprimé, et c'est un petit peu coupé, ce qui est juste parfait quand on a une petite taille et qu'on a un petit torseau comme moi. Donc euh, définitivement suggéré, définitivement recommandé, je l'ai acheté à Zara récemment et c'est en solde pour 40 dollars. Voilà. Deuxième pièce qui je pense devrait être une super bien pièce si on essaye un stylé sans en faire trop ou sans essayer d'être classe tout le temps, c'est Best Bomber. Fortement recommandé aussi. Pris quelque chose avec des imprimés parce que je pense que c'était vraiment très intéressant à l'œil de pouvoir l'associer avec des pièces un petit peu plus simples, un petit peu moins imprimées. Les deux premières tenues, vraiment, vraiment très edgy. C'était vraiment, ça avait un côté rock. Bien, ça a vraiment été un côté tout aussi stylé qui n'était pas aussi rock, mais qui était plus edgy. Donc, les deux, pour moi, me représentaient tellement qu'il fallait que je le montre, il fallait que je vous montre comment est-ce que je pouvais associer ces deux pièces. J'ai essayé d'aller avec des astuces, mais moi, je pense que pour le bambou, la veste bomber, j'ai vraiment essayé de jouer avec euh, superposition de vêtements et je trouve que c'était juste magnifique parce que on va avec des contrastes. Si on a beaucoup d'imprimés et que c'est à forte dominance noire, comme la couleur de, du bomber en fait avec plein d'imprimés. Je trouve que si on associe une pièce blanche par exemple, ça donne un contraste qui pour moi est juste magnifique. Une pièce bleue ou bien une chemise bleue comme ce que j'ai fait. Un petit élément qui rejoint un petit peu la, le bomber parce qu'il y a des pièces bleues mais qui en même temps contraste parce que la dominance, la couleur dominante c'est le noir. Après ça, je vous ai un petit peu montré ce que vous pouvez faire avec. J'espère que vous avez aimé la vidéo, j'espère que vous avez apprécié la vidéo. Puis n'hésitez pas, et je le dis bien, n'hésitez pas à me contacter si vous avez des questions. Je suis joignable sur mes réseaux sociaux, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Toujours joignable. Et bien évidemment, j'ai mon site web où j'offre des services. Mais euh, la première étape, c'est d'avoir une consultation que je peux faire via Skype ou FaceTime. Donc, euh, c'est pas un problème si vous n'habitez pas au Canada ou que vous n'habitez pas à Montréal. Si anglais, français, ça me dérange pas du tout. Je suis plus ou moins à l'aise dans ces langues aussi. Mais c'est sûr et certain que si vous êtes intéressé anglophone comme francophone, dès le départ, euh, je suis là et je répondrai à toutes vos questions. Donc n'hésitez vraiment pas à me contacter pour ça. Je vous répondrai aussitôt que possible. Puis si vous voulez avoir d'autres types de vidéos sur cette chaîne, comme d'habitude, laissez-moi savoir, j'écoute tout ce qu'on me dit, je dis ça, je dis rien. Je vais vous revoir pour ma prochaine vidéo, puis comme je le dis toujours, profitez de votre début de semaine et souriez parce que c'est gratuit. <rire> Bye